world almost ended once. It is a story I need to tell before I grow too old to remember. It is a story of a man, some called a curse, and others called a hero. But a man they all called Death Spank. Foretold of his destiny to possess a powerful artifact, only known as the Artifact, Death Spank dedicated his life to becoming a hero to the downtrodden, a vanquisher of evil, and a dispenser of justice. To becoming a hero worthy of the power of the Artifact. To becoming the hero of his destiny. I'll begin my tale at the doorstep of the demon witch Miss Haven stands, led there by a guide too smart to go any further. Death Spank clutches in his hand the final clue in a life's journey paved in blood and steel and bacon. A journey that will finally lead him to the artifact. Or so he was told. You do this incredibly exciting, non-specific thing. Do it often, citizen. If I am slain in combat, I will automatically resurrect at the scented outhouses. I can even travel between outhouses via means I don't care to explain. Weapons of justice, those purple weapon thingies, when the justice meter is full. Fill the meter by hitting enemies. <laughs> Not that there's anything else you can do with enemies. Demon Witch Haven Stents. I am Deathspank, hero to the downtrodden, vanquisher of evil, dispenser of justice, and I have come for the artifact. No need for the introduction, Deathspank. I know who you are. If you know me so well, what's my favorite color? Plaid. Yeah, a lucky guess. Lots of people like plaid. Let's try something harder. What number am I thinking of? Plaid. Okay, that is just eerie.
Did you know that the path here is littered with the reanimated dead? Of course. You didn't destroy them, did you? It's kind of what I do. Great. There goes my bridge knight. You would not believe the heroic journey that brought me here. Nor would I particularly care. I once fought of a legion of vicious mermaids. Chasing down the artifact led me to sail through dangerous waters infested by a mermaid army. <laughs> I didn't know mermaids had armies. Well, it was more of a militia, really. And come to think of it, maybe they were just salmon. Though they were pretty sexy. Tell me the location of the artifact, Demon Witch. I hid it deep in the demon mines. I placed a powerful magic seal before the artifact. Magic seal? Oh, you fiend! Enchanting defenseless circus animals! Not that kind of seal. I don't know why I even bother. You will never break that seal. Not without my help. But aren't you the one who magically sealed the artifact deep in the demon mines in the first place? That was just a job I was paid to do. Can I entertain you with more tales of my heroic adventures? I'd prefer if you didn't. I once survived for a week in the desert. Of course, it was the pursuit of the artifact that led me deep into the dry wasteland. Oh, the heat was so intense, I did all I could to stay out of the sun. And I ended up losing most of my money. Fortunately, the waitresses kept bringing me free drinks. <laughs> that sounds like you were in Las Vegas. Yeah, which is in the middle of the harsh and unforgiving desert. Can I entertain you even more with tales of my heroic adventures? Entertain is not the word I'd use. I defeated Alonzo the Awesome's mighty codpiece. It was the final battle, preventing me from discovering the location of the artifact. Was it hard? Yeah, a little towards the end. Ha <laughs> ha! Can I entertain you with even more tales of my heroic adventures? Do you know any words besides heroic? I once danced with the devil by the pale moonlight. Oh my, that does sound dangerous. Not really. Only if you try to lead. To his credit, though, he does one hell of a lambada. Who paid you to hide the artifact? I don't know. Some woman, I think. I seem to remember her having red hair. Was she about five foot six and wearing a suit of armor? I guess. She didn't really make much of an impression. Now, uh, did she also have a pair of chainmail boots on? Now that you mention it, I do remember thinking that she had excellent traction. <sighs> did she speak in a mean, lecturing tone of voice? Goes on and on. I think she said she preferred the term eloquent. Oh, great. It's her again. What ungodly price must be paid to unseal the artifact? My poor darling dragon hatchlings are being attacked by a pack of vicious chickens. I want those chickens taken care of violently. Bring me their lips as proof of their demise. Do chickens even have lips? Of course they do. How else do you expect them to whistle? Ah, good point.
up is a happy time in a growing adventurous life. I can use new and exciting weapons and even get a limited edition hero card. Demon Witch. I have your lips, Demon Witch. Well, not your lips. The lips you requested from the vicious chickens. Ah, my poor darlings will finally be able to sleep again. Now, I was going to grind your bones into a nice stew. But I actually feel a tinge of gratitude for your help. Yeah, I get that a lot. I will now help you get the artifact. But first, I need some ingredients to break the spell. I require some hair of the pixies, bright red demon imp horns, and a crystal shard from the slime pits. I don't know what you're cooking, Demon Witch, but it sounds delicious. I'm making a special magical crystal for you, but you'll have to venture beyond my gate to acquire the items I need. Let me open it for you. Your map is... Have a key to open that fine looking trip. Sometimes head injuries can make me a little forgetful. Lucky for me, items I don't pick up find their way to these dumpsters. <laughs> I don't know how. Elves, maybe. Yeah, let's go with elves.
message is also a tutorial. Greetings, heroic looking traveller. I am Deathspank. Yeah. Me and the whole forest heard it when you were telling the demon witch. Don't fishermen usually hang out by water? Well, you see, well, I was fishing down at the lake, minding me own business, when out of nowhere a bunch of bloodthirsty creams took over the entire beach. As I ran for my life, I forgot me beloved tackle box. I'll grab your tackle box with ease, fisherman. Oh, thank you, Death Spunk. Hello again, sad fisherman. Where is this beach of which you speak? You should just look in your quest log. That's what it's for. I thought fishermen were tougher. Oh, we are. But we keep our anger and rage bottled up inside. Do you know anything about the artifact? I've only heard rumors that the demon witch Havenstance once had it. Goodbye, fishermen. Greetings, character of little stature. Hi there, mister. What's the matter? Your lemonade stand not doing so well? It's not a lemonade stand. This is an official Bong the Potioneer kiosk. And I have a package that has to be delivered to Bong up at his shop in Plugmuggle. Seeing as I'm a hero, I could take your package to Bong the Potioneer. Thanks, mister. The bridge to Plockmockle is out, so you'll have to wait until it's repaired to make the delivery. You know, I can make a neato potion for you. But it's difficult to come by certain ingredients. If you could bring me goo drops, I could reward you with the free Killer Plant Immunity Potion. Fortune cookies are like nature's candy. Candy that tells the future. Use fortune cookies to unlock hints on how to complete quests. <laughs> Greetings, cow. <laughs> You're so wise. Tell me more of your philosophy and worldview. I never thought of butter that way before. <laughs> Go on. Oh. I will ponder what you have taught me. Greetings again, gentle cow. <laughs> Teach me the way of the warrior. Four-legged friend. I see. I must bend like grain, but strike like cream. I have so much to learn. Greetings again, gentle cow. How does the day find you? Yes. The weather is unusually warm today. Thank you for your sage advice. Anyone 
one can use the automatic targeting system, but a real hero knows how to use manual targeting for precision vanquishing. Greetings, nondescript citizen. Despite hero of legend, you must help me. I was walking through the grove when the plants came to life and attacked me. As I was escaping, one of the scoundrels stole my wallet. Don't worry. I'll reclaim your wallet from these thieving plants. It's time for Deathbank to do some weeding. Greetings, intelligent-looking individual. Oh, thank goodness the hero Deathspank is here. I'm a researcher trying to gather data on the ancient thongolis spread across the land. But the roads to these thongolis are too dangerous for me. Now, I have this instrument that can take the readings I require. But I need someone who can actually get to the thongoliths. I'll take your readings, researcher. Oh, how wonderful! The first thongolith I need readings from is one far to the south by the demon mines. Just drop this instrument by the thongolith for a few seconds and it will gather the data it needs. Oh, and if it happens to get damaged or lost, you can just come back and I'll give you a replacement.
attacks can be blocked with my mighty shield. Blocking stops all damage for a brief time, but you probably already figured that out.
a mighty fine looking mating. Ah, I don't have a key to open. Oh, that's a mighty fine looking mating stone.
greetings again, little orphan vendor. Here is your goo. Excellent. Please take this killer plant immunity potion as a reward. Talk to me again if you want more free potions. Greetings again, slave-driving orphan. If you'd like, I could make a nifty stealth potion for you. But this requires spores from the killer plants. I'll help you with your killer plant spores, desperate orphan. Excellent. Of course, you probably already know that killer plant spores only appear in dead greens. Hello again, sad fisherman. Your fine tackle box is safe once again, oppressed fisherman. Oh, me beloved tackle box. Thank you, Death Spank. What? Oh, those disgusting green stormy fishing lures. Oh, without them, I am powerless as a fisherman. I could go slay some greens and retrieve the lures for you. Oh, thank you, magnificent hero.
Greetings, nondescript citizen. Have you found my lost wallet? Your wallet is rescued. Oh, thank you, hero. Now I can get ready for Madam Prince. Again, slave driving orphan. Do you have the killer plant spores? Yes, I have them right here. Great. Please take this stealth potion as a reward. I know how to make the next potion, but it requires you to bring me lots and lots of spider eyes. Sure, I'll bring you some spider eyes. Yay! For this good deed, I have more potions as a reward. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings once more, whiny fisherman. That lake looked like an awful place to fish. You'd be surprised. Where there's greens, there's fish. Sadly, the reverse is true as well. I have your mighty lures, distressed fisherman. Thank you, Death Spunk. <sighs> I guess I've got everything I need to return to work. But you know, just between you and me, I really hate fishing. You know what? I've heard the evil green champion swallows fish whole. You should split his mighty belly open and bring me the prize tuna he just ate. I'll bring you your tuna. Great! That would pretty much free up me afternoon. Key to open his blasted treasure chest.
Bank has many friends. Plugging in a second controller will allow another adventurer to join the game and defend justice. Thank <laughs> you. 
Greetings, researcher. I have your reading from the Thongolith by the Demon Minds. Excellent. The data gathered is perfect. Thank you. Greetings, researcher. Can you help me one more time, Deathspank? I need a reading from the Thongolith in the Enchanted Forest. Remember, drop an instrument by the Thongolith for a few seconds, and it will gather all the data it needs. <laughs> Greetings once more, business orphan quotas to meet. Do you have the spider eyes yet? I sure do. Here you go. Perfect. Please take this potion as a reward. That's all I've got. So if you want any more potions, you'll have to pay for them. Greetings, bargain driving orphan. A rich orphan is a happy orphan. 
Have you seen my missing artifact? I saw a shiny red-haired lady running past here the other day holding something like that. Not sure what she did with it. Anything new, Orphan? Nope. Greetings, bargain driving orphan. A rich orphan. What do you take a look? You know what a beautiful gorgeous.
meeting. A rich. What do? And a good day to you, lazy fisherman. Why do the Greens hate you? Mate, oh, I hate their young. Makes them cranky. I have your prize tuna, lazy fisherman. You've really helped me out, brave adventurer. And now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to be alone with my fishing gear. The lost and found is empty. Demon witch. Here are the ingredients you required. The hair of the pixies. The crystal shard. Good. Now go get the rest of the ingredients.
don't have a key to open this blasted treasure chest. <laughs> Some inventory items can be combined together into new and useful other things. Move one item onto another item to combine them together. <laughs> those cherries. Greeting, 
name's Industrious Worker. Hello, the name's Bubblewood, and I need poop. I'll try a high-fiber diet and stay away from cheese. Look, every year I win the annual Pluckbuckle Produce Contest with my unnaturally large cherries. They grow so dang big because of my mystical and arcane manure formula. But I'm all out of poop and need more. You need magic poop. Demon dung, actually. And yes, I'd appreciate it if you could help me out. Just use this special hammer to beat the crap out of demons. Literally. It doesn't do much damage, but if you pound on a demon long enough, it'll drop out the meadow muffins I need. Hey! Don't muck with that! It takes forever to wind the bucket back up, especially when the Greems dump their anvils in there. Touch those cherries. Industrious worker, I have your droppings of demonic origin. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. With this special manure, my cherries will be enormous. Whenever I think of dung, I'll think of you, Death Spank. How goes the cherry business, Bubblewood? Not so good. I forgot that the dung is worthless without demon water. Oh, I know you can milk a demon, but water? No, no. Water from the demon mines. You use a bucket. Oh, hey, a bucket. <laughs> I love buckets. Oh, that's great. Then take this bucket and fill it with demonic water. Oh, no, not the anvil again. Thank <laughs> you. 
Demon witch. Here are the ingredients you required. The bright red horns of the demon imp. That should be everything you needed. It is. Now take this crystal and insert nine demonic rubies to charge it. After it is charged, use it on the sealed door deep in the demon mines. And then I get the artifact. Thank you, Demon Witch Havenstens, but I must go. Justice calls. Greetings, Armoryist. Let's see your weapon selection. into cash. have a key to open that fine-looking treasure chest.
funny, is it? You never seem to have a key to open a treasure chest when you need one. Skillfully alternating weapons allows me to fill the justice meter quicker. Using the same weapon twice in a row slows down justice and is a social faux pas. <laughs> Not going to work. An enemy's health and level is displayed over their head. I mean, if they have a head, some don't. Not that there's anything wrong with that.
Greetings, monk. Salutations of the gods and goddesses be with you. Isn't it a little hot in here to be wearing those robes? Is it? I honestly can't say I've noticed. What's a monk like you doing in a place like this? Oh, I'm just here to enjoy the scenery. So, that thing over there is the artifact, isn't it? Yes, that it is. And don't you dare pick it up, or else terrible, terrible things will happen. Hey, how did you know I was going to- The greedy, voracious look in your eyes said it all. Well, that and I saw the quest log pop-up message. Why can't I pick up the artifact? The artifact is the thing that holds everything together. Oh, thou of significantly reduced faith. So, you're saying it's some kind of holy symbol, like the sign of the chicken. Indeed, but much more powerful and twice as delicious. You don't understand. I really need this artifact. Oh, what for? A mysterious red-haired woman told me to recover it years ago. You wouldn't believe how many would-be heroes come marching in here with that exact same excuse. The question is, did she tell you why? it is with women and their artifacts. Just as I thought. He who closes his eyes to the truth shall eventually find himself with no eyes at all. What's that even supposed to mean? You'll figure it out someday. If you don't bring about the end of the world, that is. I think I have a headache now. It happens to the best of us. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and take that artifact now. You wouldn't dare. Oh yeah? Just you watch me. Regret this death spank. Now, if you will excuse me. Pressing two buttons at the same time is mathematically more fun than pressing just one. Just follow the instructions on these rune stones to vanquish evil in new and interesting ways.
watching the artifact, a triumph of a lifetime of war and battle, Deathspank fought his way out of the dark cave. But the presence of an artifact that powerful does not go unnoticed by those that seek to possess it. Ambushed by an entire orc army, even the mightiest of heroes would fall. I expected more from you, Deadspank. I see you've fallen into my trap, Sergeant Orc. <laughs> Lord Von Prong will be pleased we have the artifact. I smell a promotion for... me. <laughs> <laughs> so close, Deathspank. You were so close, but you must keep trying. We now know how important it is. Redhead woman! Oh, it's you. Hello, Deathspank. I have another important mission for you. You wouldn't happen to have a spare sword, would you? Why? What happened to yours? Nothing. Nothing at all. I'm asking for a friend. Well, tell your friend that I can't help him. Do you no, where I, uh, <clears throat> my friend can't find a new sword. Head up to the town of Pluckmuckle and talk to the mayor. He'll be able to tell you where to go. Have you been following me? I don't have to follow you. Your trail is littered with violence. I checked, and dismembered body parts aren't technically litter. Don't you have anything better to do than stalk me? I'm not following you. Get over yourself. You should get a hobby. I hear good things about macrame. Cleaning up after you is a full-time hobby. That's a strange hobby. But if it makes you happy... Are you going to keep following me? As always, you can find me in the local town. Though I'm not following you. I'm glad we cleared that up. Isn't important mission an oxy oxymoron? See this sign beside me? Sure. Missing orphans, $100,000 reward posted by the mayor of Pluckmuckle. What of it? Sounds like somebody needs a hero. Can't they make more? No, they need your help. But orphans are dirty and smelly. What happened to that whole hero to the downtrodden thing? You're right. Justice has no sense of smell, so neither shall I. I'll meet with the mayor of Pluckmuckle at once. Where is this Pluckmuckle town anyways? Just follow this road. You can't miss it. Oh, we'll see about that. I've got bad news about the artifact. Sergeant Orc and a band of his merry men appeared, and... Gave you a wedgie and kicked dirt into your face, right? I was going to make it sound more heroic. But, yeah, basically. Well, the artifact is probably on its way to Lord Von Prong by now. Who is this Lord Von Prong, anyway? Well, he's only the most feared tyrant in all the land. If the rumors are to be believed, he might be behind the missing orphans, too. Typical. It's never the fourth most feared tyrant, is it? I don't think orphan snatching is really Jimbo the belligerent landlord's style. So you think this Lord Von Prong guy kidnapped the orphans? That's what the rumors say. Well, what do you say? I can only say what the rumors say. If the rumors went and jumped off a cliff, would you jump too? Let's not get sidetracked, Deathspank. I 
I've decided to rescue the missing orphans of Pluckmuckle. Good for you, Deathbank. Just make sure it doesn't turn out like last time, okay? There's a very simple explanation for that. Just be careful, Deathbank. And while you're at it, maybe you can try getting the artifact back? Time for me to go save some orphans. I've got to go to Pluckmuckle and see the mayor. Good. Since you are going into town anyway, I have a package I need delivering. Go inside Nozzleford's general store and give this package to Nozzleford himself. Now go. Weapons in this dumpster. All my stuff's in there. Oh, it's too bad these orcs are watching me. We threw all your weapons in this dumpster. Neener, neener, neener. All my stuff's in there. Oh, it's too bad these orcs are watching me. and found is empty. <laughs> Greetings, quaint shopkeeper. I am Deathspank. Welcome to Nuzzlefit's General Store. What can you tell me about Von Prong? Von Prong is a nasty sort of fella. You can find his castle on the other side of the haunted forest. You have a nice store here. Well, thank you, Deathbank. I've done all right thanks to my high prices and lack of competition. They haven't let my handicap slow me down a bit. What handicap do you speak of? My vision is gone. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Not my hearing, my vision. Sorry. How did you lose your vision? I don't want to talk about it. Where can I find the mayor of your town? He's in the town square, of course. Short fellow dressed in green. What do you have for sale? I have a wide selection of goods. Greetings, Nuzzleford. I have a package for you from Sandy. Thank you. Goodbye, Nuzzleford. Hold before you go. I've got this package I need delivered to Rich Cabin, the wealthiest developer around. My normal delivery man is out with the plague. I'll deliver your package. Wonderful. He lives to the northeast of town, up by the swamp. And please come talk to me any time. I'd love the company. <laughs> 
Greetings, gentlemen of obvious distinction and authority. Oh, hi there. I'm the mayor of Pluckmuckle. They call me Death's Bank, hero to the downtrodden, vanquisher of evil, and dispenser of justice. Oh, what can I do for you, Mr. Spank? How do you like being the mayor? Frankly, it's a big pain in the keister. If you don't like it, why run for re-election? Well, I get a free house, a personal chef, a club membership, and I can park wherever I want. And if I don't like someone, I just say the word and they disappear. Do you make people disappear often? Mm, not really. I just like to know that the option is there. What does a mayor do, anyway? You mean other than kissing babies and cutting big ribbons? Hmm, I don't really know. Most of that is handled by my staff. But don't underestimate the importance of baby kissing. Without me, these babies would have terrible self-esteem. Do you think you have a chance at re-election? Oh, heavens no! The taxes are crippling. The crime rate is frightening. The schools are an embarrassment, but none of that matters if you find those missing orphans. Make me look good, Dust Bank! Ever hear of this guy called Lord Prawn something? Oh, yeah! You must be thinking of Lord Von Prong. He lives up in Prong Castle, far to the east. What can you tell me about him? Just that he's a registered independent and against gun control. Finish this sentence. Lord Von Prong is... Kind of a jerk. How so? He used to be such a wonderful and courageous man. Then it was like he changed overnight and became a cruel coward of a man. Now he just hides up in his castle and lets his legion of orcs spread tyranny. He's really hurting my poll numbers. Have the orphans ever gone missing before? Oh, sure, all the time. Frankly, we're a bit negligent in that regard. Like this one time, they were kidnapped by a Broadway producer and forced to do rent. Oh, the horror. Well, it was no Les Mis, but it was still better than Cats. I hear you need a hero. Oh, sure do, but he's got to be strong and he's got to be quick and he's got to be fresh from the battle. At your service. Interesting. What do you know about orphans? They have no parents. Oh, you seem well informed. Are you also aware of the upcoming mayoral election? My newspaper is largely ceremonial. My poll numbers are, shall we say, in an unfortunate place. If the missing orphans were to be rescued before the election... Oh, I just noticed your broken sword there. Huh. It's just resting its eyes. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work out. A hero needs a working sword. Let's continue this discussion once you've repaired your weapon. Good day, semi-lucid potioner. The name's Bong. Do you know where I can get a new sword? Old Ubrick might be able to help you out. He lives just down the lane from here. You seem pretty laid back, Bong. <laughs> yeah. I try to keep things on the level, you know? That's one of the great things about mixing my own potions. Can you tell me about any of your potions? Well, some will make you stronger, and others will make you faster. 
and others have the power to heal and protect you. What can you tell me about Von Prong? I know he lives in a giant castle on the other side of the haunted forest. What's new, Bong? Oh, nothing. What's with all the questions? I have to go, Bong. Old man? Old man? Is that how you treat your elders? <laughs> I speak only truth. You are old and a man, but mostly old. Eh, don't give me none of that sass mouth, son. Back in my adventurous days, that kind of talk would earn you a fatal beating. I'm looking for some orphans. Does it have to be specific orphans, or will any do? With the right tools and proper motivation, it's easy enough to make more. Specific orphans, I'm afraid. That's too bad. I can't help you then. It is imperative that the orphans be found. Why do you need orphans anyway? You're building a house? Forget the orphans, think trained turtles. You pay them in papaya. Ooh, that's an unusual growth on your back there. That's just an old racquetball injury. I don't want to alarm you, but it looks infected. Between the heart palpitations and the unchecked syphilis, it's the least of my worries. Do you have any old adventuring treasures to sell? Perhaps some nice magic gloves or something? Back in my day, we didn't have magic gloves. We didn't have gloves at all. When we wanted to keep our hands warm, we'd stick them in a pair of badgers. I impressed plenty of young lass with my badger cuffs and squirrel trousers. You must have found some amazing loot in your day. My greatest find was an elixir of eternal youth, but it came with a terrible cost. You have to take it twice every day. That doesn't seem so bad. This particular elixir is not to be taken orally. Have you seen any orphans yet? No. Is adventurous days code for cross-dressing? You know, adventurous. Like rescuing trolls and bludgeoning princesses. I'm a famous adventurer. They call me Ubrick the Retired. Formerly Ubrick the Bitter. Formerly Ubrick the Undefeated. Formerly Ubrick the Bastard of Hill Haven. Formerly Sally the Stable Girl. And formerly Ubrick the Bedwetter. You went from undefeated to bitter? I smell a juicy story. You'd be bitter too if you suffered humiliation and defeat at the hands of Lord Von Prong. You met Lord Von Prong in battle? I did. And while I escaped with my life, sadly my breakdancing days are over. If only I'd known then what I know now. I'd have become an erotic pastry chef. The mayor said you could help me get a new weapon. Help you? You must be pretty dang desperate to come to an old man for help. Don't you have an old weapon I could use? You want old Bessie? I couldn't possibly part with the old girl. Perhaps we can work out a trade for your sword, Bessie. A trade, you say? Well, there is something I want. In all of my adventures, one thing has always eluded me. The physical manifestation of lost childhood innocence? I want... a tank! A tank? No. Better yet, I want a taco.
A taco sounds easier, safer, and conveniently fits in my pocket. Excellent. Get me one with pork, refried beans, and a spinach tortilla. Ooh, and make sure it's extra spicy. No one ever makes tacos spicy enough anymore. Bring me my taco, and I'll give you a sword. Oh, and you'll probably need this. Greetings, Taco Wench. Hmm. Welcome to Plunk Muckle Taqueria. How can I help you today? Can you tell me where to find a new sword? You should talk to Ubrick. He lives just down the hill. What can you tell me about Von Prong? Von Prong, such a stupid name. Seriously, who names their baby boy Vaughn? Do you have a name? Or should I keep calling you Taco Wench? If you have to call me anything, Tina will do. Tina is a nice name. A strong name. Dare I say, a sexy name. Are you trying to pick me up? I was mulling the possibility. Well, stop. I see you serve tacos. Excellent. I'll take five. I'm sorry. We've had to limit it to one taco per customer. Since the incident. That'll be one dollar, please. Do you want beef, pork, chicken, or tripe? Pork. Black, refried, pinto, or garbanzo beans? Refried. Corn, wheat, spinach, or low-carb sawdust tortilla? Spinach. Any special requests? Can I make that extra spicy? Sorry, sir. We're not allowed to sell extra spicy tacos anymore. Plunk Muckle Taqueria had a bit of a lawsuit a couple years back, you see. The whippersnapper. Where's my taco? I've got your taco. Hey, that's not what I asked for. I wanted pork, refried beans, and a spinach tortilla. And I wanted it extra spicy. I'd love... Don't forget... Greetings, Taco Wench. Hmm. Welcome to Plunk Muckle Taqueria. How can I help you today? I can't help but notice you can read. Are you in college? I'm studying psychology at Plunk Muckle Community College. Is it a good school? Let me put it this way. Enrolling nets you a free toaster. What does studying psychology have to do with selling tacos? What better hands-on experience with mental illness is there than customer service? And it pays the bills. I live in mortal terror of the student loans office. Hey, cats! They loan out students now. What's the interest like? Hey, look, I've got a midterm tomorrow, so if you don't mind... Could you just, like, either order something or leave? I'll see you later, Tina. I'm contractually obligated to wish you a nice day.
Super Snapper. Where's my taco? I've got your taco. Now this is one fine taco. Thank you, young man. Aren't you going to eat it? As soon as I remember where I put my teeth. All right, let me see that broken sword of yours. Here you go, kid. Ah, a sword? I wanted something cool like a scythe or a banjo. Don't look down on swords, my son. This is a weapon of an adventurer. An elegant weapon for a more civilized age. Not as clumsy or random as a banjo. I can see how that would be useful on the battlefield. Don't forget to go back to the mayor now that you got your new sword. There are orphans that need rescuing. And come see me again. I have need of some heroic services. Eager to return to Lord Von Prong with the artifact in hand, Sergeant Orc wasted no time with protocol. Lord Von Prong, I have returned with the artifact. Lord Von Prong stared at the puzzling artifact. Its legend well known, but its purpose a complete mystery, and not the real reason he sought the hero Deathspank. What of this purple thorn? Lord Von Prong would ask. You did bring it to me as I instructed. Oh, how could Sergeant Orc have forgotten that one simple instruction? Was it the weight of its importance? Or maybe the heat of battle? Or maybe other dark forces were at work? But it matters not, for Lord Von Prong has little patience for those who cannot follow orders. Sergeant Orc begs for one last chance to kill Deathspank and return with his purple thong. But Lord Von Prong has another plan. A plan more cunning than the last. A plan that is sure to place the hero Deathspank's thong firmly in his grasp. Oh, yes! You look much more heroic now! What does a sword have to do with finding missing orphans, anyway? It's for the eventual photo-op! Image matters! Here, take this bag. What's this bag for? You'll be needing it to carry the little buggers. Make sure to poke a few holes so they can breathe. The bag or the orphans? <laughs> I'll leave that up to you. a package for you from your little orphan helper. Thank you. Do you know anything about the missing orphans? Sort of. A couple of customers from out of town said they heard an orphan in the enchanted forest. What would an orphan be doing in the enchanted forest? It's probably not there by choice. My guess is that dark forces are at work. The enchanted forest isn't, well, natural. 
So you think I'll find an orphan in the Enchanted Forest? Oh, probably. Just be careful out there. I'm not scared of a forest. Oh, I was talking about the orphans. I have to go, Bong. Greetings, old man Ubrick. Feel like reminiscing about the good old days? Boy, do I ever! This one time, this guy gave me a taco to fix his sword. <laughs> the damned fool! I would have done it for half a taco! Any more exciting hero stories? I once slayed a dragon! Really? That's amazing! Well, I didn't really slay it, and it wasn't technically a dragon. What I meant to say is that I once kicked a cat. Any more fantastic stories of heroism? I once infiltrated a coven of vampires who were also vacuum cleaner salesmen. That sounds like it must have been exciting. Not really. It sucked on many levels. Any more magnificent tales of valor? Did I ever tell you about the time I arm wrestled a mountain? Did you win? It was a draw, but I think the mountain cheated. Any more gripping anecdotes of gallantry? There I was, surrounded on all sides by bloodthirsty orcs. Then I was the king of France, and a woman and I had a leopard. Was this by any chance a dream? Nope. Why do you ask? Any more exhilarating retellings of intrepidity? I once bludgeoned a yeti in my underwear. How did the yeti get into your underwear? One leg at a time. Any more inspiring chronicles of courage? During my travels, I came across a secret so dangerous, so dark, it must never be repeated. I had to sell my sidekick just to find out the first three letters. Decades of searching at long last yielded the answer, which has eluded so many for so long. I know what the secret of Monkey Island is. That's okay. Not that interested. All right, suit yourself. What did Lord Von Prong do to destroy your legacy? When you're a winner like I was, the public can't get enough of you. But one failure, they turn against you like a pack of man-eating turtles. So, you lost to Von Prong only once, and that ended your hero career? Well, technically, it was more like a dozen times. But it all happened within a ten-minute time frame. So I count it as one failure. So Von Prong is very powerful. Well, he defeated me, didn't he? I've studied 14 forms of ninjutsu. What a terrible world we live in when ninjutsu can't solve our problems. Oh, if I only knew then what I know now. What didn't you know then that you wish you did? Pardon? What didn't you know about your battle with Lord Von Prong? Oh, plenty of things. Like his favorite color? Which of the Three Stooges is his favorite? That normal weapons are ineffective against him? If he were a tree, which tree would he be? All lessons I learned the hard way. You said you might have some side quests for me. Excellent! I sent my sidekick to a cave entrance to wait for me, and then forgot all about him. Could you go tell him to come back? Three. 
Greetings, random non-player character. Oh, hey there, protagonist. Deathbank, you must help me. The Greens killed my father. Well, at least they hurt his feelings pretty bad. Could you kill the queen in Fishing Lake and bring me its mating gland? I'll pull that gland right off the old girl. Yeah, you'll need this mating whistle to summon the queen. Queens are incredibly picky and only respond to the right frequency. Greetings, morose man. I am Deathspank, hero to the downtrodden. Um, hi. I'm Pippin Apple, I guess. What were your parents thinking, naming you that? Probably the same thing your parents were when they named you Deathspank. Let's get to the part where you beg me for help. I haven't heard from my brother, Red Delicious. Is that his real name or his stripper name? He's a farmer in the village north of here. Could you find him for me? I'll locate your brother, Pippin Apple. I want you to find my brother, Red Delicious. I'm Pippin Apple. Whatever. I'll find them both if I have to. Hello again, Mayor of Pluckmuckle. Do you have any odd jobs I could do? Oh, you really are a morning go-getter, aren't you? Hmm. Oh, while I was dumping some recyclables into the garbage dump, I dropped my keys. You could go find them for me. I can find your downtrodden keys, fine mayor. Excellent! I sure am. Oh, boy! Greetings, strange man. What are you doing way out here? I, uh, I'm what you call a spelunker. I'm surveying the various caves around the world, but uh, <clears throat> could use some help. I have a few phobias that make it uh, challenging. Such as? Well, uh, there's a caraphobia, uh, fear of itching. Uh, a cluophobia, fear of darkness. A claustrophobia, fear of confined spaces. And a cremnophobia, fear of precipices. And dermatophobia, fear of skin lesions. Your problems and extensive vocabulary have moved me. How can I help? Please, enter the dark and forbidding cave over there and retrieve a crystal sample for me. Oh, I don't have a key. 
Cheetah will be a beautiful, gorgeous, glistening. Spelunker. Do you have any crystal samples for me yet? Indeed! An eyeball cave crystal. Oh, yeah! See you at the next cave! I don't have a key to open this gate.
Greetings, demonic child caregiver. Please, you have to help me. Help you? I'm here to rescue that orphan thing. Please! You don't understand. She's terrible. Even the other demons think she's a selfish abomination. What seems to be the problem? I'm a little confused. Lord Von Prong instructed us to capture this thing. It seems so easy, an innocent creature to enslave. That does seem easy. But she's a little terror. Just hand the orphan over and no one will get hurt. You don't understand. We have a contract with Lord Von Prong. The only escape clause is death. You have to kill me, but make it look good. I don't want the other demons to know. Kill me this time, but make it look good. Try and hit an artery or something. Things seem a little too heroic.
Just glistening treasure chest.
Greetings, industrious worker. This bucket runneth over with quality demonic water. Oh, yes. This is exactly what I need. The judges will have no choice but to bow before my magnificent cherries. Oh, yes. Again, Sandy. Well, I better go orphan hunting. I saw something. I saw something. I need... Almost there. I think I saw something. I need to... Almost there. Almost there. I think I saw something. I need. Almost there.
don't have a key to open that fine-looking treasure chest. Muckle, I present to you your missing keys. Good work, Deathbank. Hello again, Mayor of Pluck Muckle. Got any more odd jobs I can do? I like to help. Why, yeah! I think I do! Hmm, the election is right around the corner, and if I'm going to be re-elected, I need to clean up the land. There is trash scattered everywhere, and I need you to bring it to me. And if the recycling tax benefit makes me a ton of money, so be it. I played a piece of trash in a school play once. I think I know what needs to be done. Terrific! They're all over the place, so stay on the lookout. Hello again, Mayor of Pluckmuckle. I bring you an orphan. This isn't all the orphans, is it? I might have missed one or two. Oh, I'd really like to have all the orphans back together, if that's all right with you. More orphans means more publicity, and more publicity means more votes! Well, I'm off to go do some orphan rescuing. have a key to open that fine-looking treasure chest.
Greetings, worthy citizen. I am Deathspank. Hey, hello. The name's Rich Cabin. I have a package for you from Nozzleford. Oh, finally. I've been waiting for this for a while. Greetings again, Rich Cabin. What's all this stuff around here? Well, I'm building Rich Cabin's cabins for the rich. High-class living at low-class prices. But now, an infestation of blinkers threatens my wealth. Sounds like you could use a hero like Deathspank. Assuming your rates are reasonable, yes, I could. Ha! You can't put a price on justice. Now that's what I like to hear. Just kill these blinkers and bring me their guts as proof. Don't have a key to open this blasted treasure chest. Greetings again, Rich Cabin. I have slain your problematic blinkers. Wow, that's a lot of guts. I didn't think you'd really carry all those around with you. Hmm. But now, those monks to the north are always ringing their giant evil bell. And seeing as how we've established it's evil, could you go destroy that bell for me? I'll gladly silence this evil, noisy bell for you. Oh, you're my kind of hero, Death Spank. A free one. Citizen. Please help me. Pips attacked my village and burned it to the ground. In my haste to escape, I forgot my precious trunk of priceless stuff. Fear not, for I'll retrieve your downtrodden yet still valuable trunk.
Wow, there are some really great. Nothing to find in here. I can't go inside. The building is too damaged. Nothing to find in here. I can't go inside. The building is too damaged.
I don't have a key to open this blasted treasure chest. Seen person, your brother Pippin Apple sent me to find you. When the pips grabbed me, I thought I was a goner. <gasps> oh no! What's coming back?
I can't go inside. The building is too damaged. I can't, I can't go inside. The building is too damaged. Citizen, your truck is safely and snugly within my inventory. Thank you for needlessly risking your life to save my trunk. Now I can sell it on alt.trunk.fetish. Rich cabin, I have slain the evil and noisy bell. Oh, finally, some peace and quiet. Now, all I need is wood to build Rich Cabin's cabins for the rich. But I need special magical wood, and seeing as paying for an endangered commodity seems wrong. Could you go and liberate that oppressed wood from the lumber mill in the enchanted forest? Don't worry about a thing, cost conscious developer. You'll get your endangered wood. <laughs> Little green man. Shh, don't talk to me. What's the matter? The leprechaun mob has a contract out on me. Just by talking to me, you have doomed us both. Leprechaun mob? That sounds hilarious. Yeah, hilarious. Until you try to quit and then they kill you. 
I need a new look. Then I'll find a disguise for you. Look near the talking tree, because there's always old stuff around him. Looks like a unicorn has been nibbling on this turnip. I found the cutest little thing for you. A mushroom? Oh, I swore I'd never dress like one again, but I don't have a choice. I'm going to turn fairy state's evidence and become a gnome in exchange for my freedom. Go to my cave and get the incriminating evidence I left behind. Cave evidence, got it. Take this key. You'll need it to get into my safety deposit chest.
Greetings, Talking Tree. Mm, and salutations to you, Deathspank. You know my name? Mm, of course I do. The wind and the rain speak of your heroic deeds. Finally! Mm, I beg of you. Please wreak your justice upon the abominable orc loggers for cutting down all my friends. I do enjoy a good reeking. Bring me their foul plaid shirts as proof of the deed. Greetings, Talking Tree. I have the plaid shirts for you. You live up to your reputation, Deathsbank. My perennial friends are safe once again. Night in the forest is cold and lonely. I could really use a sock. Then a heroic sock you will have. Any particular color? Surprise me. Greetings, researcher. I have your reading from the Fungalith in the Enchanted Forest. Excellent. The data gathered is perfect. Thank you. I, uh... 
Jim's your brother. Most of him, anyway. My brother was taller than that. Ah, this is just his head. I need to think about what to do next. Give me a minute. With everybody dead, there's nothing left but to blow up the village. I like where this is going. Plant these C4 charges on each of the buildings in the village. Boom, baby. Greetings, old man Ubrick. I found your sidekick's journal. From the journal entries, I assume he starved to death waiting for you. Great. That's another quest completed and more experience points for me. I've got a fever, and the only prescription is more side quest. Excellent. I have the gravestone I want when I'm buried. But I need someone to deliver it to the grave digger. Take this to him and don't forget to bring me back my damn receipt. <laughs> Greetings, old man Ubrick. Do you have any more side quests for me? Yes, indeed. For one of my old quests, I was supposed to kill ten turtle creatures. Sadly, I only killed three, but I really want the experience points. Could you go kill the rest of them and bring me back the gonads? <laughs> Greetings, Talking Tree. Here's just a darling suck for you. Forsooth, that is really nice. You know what I miss from my sapling days? Reading the book, The Giving Tree, with my dad. Let me find a copy for you.
Greetings, Talking Tree. Here is a copy of the Giving Tree, just like you asked. I can't wait to get started on it. Next, I require a thumb tack for scrapbooking. <laughs> thumb tacks are a rare and dangerous commodity. Greetings, Talking Tree. Here's your thumbtack. It is just the way I like them. One pointy end and one flat bit. <laughs> you have aided the enchanted forest brave Death's Bank. Now the forest requires the album live at Budokan. Not exactly the request I expected. I almost saw them in concert once. Greetings, Talking Tree. I have that Live at Budokan album you asked for. Thank you. Tonight, the forest will stand still with excitement. You know what would be awesome here? A black light. A black light? It would really tie the forest together. <laughs> Greetings, Talking Tree. Here is the blackest light I could find. <laughs> this is going to set some sweet mood. You know, even us wise old trees need motivation sometimes. Why don't you go find me a poster that says keep on trucking? I'll bring you a keep on trucking poster. Right on. <laughs> Great. 
Greetings, Talking Tree. I have for you one poster. Reading, Keep on Truckin'. Now I can keep on trucking for centuries. Thank you for all your help, Heroic Death Spank. Spelunker. Please, enter the dark and forbidding cave over there and retrieve a crystal sample for me. Spelunker. Do you have any crystal samples for me yet? Indeed! An enchanted forest crystal. Groovy! See you at the next cave! Are you here to 
rescue me, mister. I sure am. Snitch, here is the evidence of misdoings. Swell, this evidence is my ticket out of this candy scented dump. Great, <laughs> once it gets dark, I can make a break for the border. Now make like a tree and expel gases efficiently. I can't be seen with you.
Greetings again, Ritz Kevin. Here is the enchanted wood you requested. Oh, this wood is great. You can really taste the quality. Now I also want to start construction of a nine-hole golf course in the smelly swamp. But the swamp donkeys hate golf and all it stands for. Kill the donkeys and bring me their guts. What's with you and guts anyways? I lost mine as a child. Well, lucky for you, I've always hated swamp donkeys and all they stand for. Spelunker. Please, enter the dangerous cave over there and retrieve a crystal sample for me.
Greetings, Spelunker. Do you have any crystal samples for me yet? Indeed. A swamp cave crystal. Pretty. See you at the next cave. Again, Ritz Kevin, those swamp donkeys should no longer be a problem. Oh, fantastic. And I love these guts, by the way. And now that those filthy swamp donkeys are gone, we're clear to start work on the swampy golf course. Be my hero and stick these flags on the ideal green locations I've marked out. I'll stick your flags, Ritz Kevin. Thank you, Death Spank. You're a true hero to the rich.
Again, Rich Cabin, I've planted your golf flags, Rich Cabin. I can't wait to play around to test the new course out.
kill me this time, but make it look good. Greetings, little orphan girl. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. I'm not a stranger. I'm Death's Bank. Now get in the bag. No, I don't wanna. Why would you even want to stay in these scary caves anyway? I can take care of myself. You do realize you're in the demon mines. Me? It's nicer than the orphanage. You know this place is infested with demons, right? Well, that doesn't scare me. Well, what does scare you? Tigers wearing pork pie hats. What a coincidence. I just saw one back that way. Nice try, butt face. But you have to get into my bag. I'm rescuing you. Aren't you supposed to give me candy first? What? Why? When a stranger wants you to get in his bag, he has to give candy. Do you want some candy, little girl? Yes, please. Do you have a lollipop? Why, there's a red lollipop in my bag. Why not see for yourself? Oh, no. I'm not falling for that again. I have your damn lollipop, kid. Yummy! Okay, I held up my end. Now get in the bag. I want a cell phone. What? You heard me. What does a kid like you need a phone for? To update my blog. Duh! A cell phone? I can't afford one of those. That's your problem, not mine. Oh, wouldn't you rather have a nice shiny penny? I'm an orphan, not an idiot. You're a spoiled brat, you know. Takes one to know one. I am not a spoiled brat. I know you are, but what am I? I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Huh, how did I miss this cave entrance before? Phones in stock today, so get yours now.
greetings again, little orphan girl. At great personal risk, I have obtained your phone. Oh, no unlimited data plan. You can upgrade it in the bag. But I... If the next words out of your mouth are, I want a pony... Oh, you're going to get me a pony. I don't want to get you a pony. Oh, you'll get me a pony. What makes you so sure, brat? Have you ever heard a little girl scream at the top of her lungs, I want a pony? Fine, I'll get you a pony, but I'm getting an ugly one. I guess all little girls really do want ponies. It's the universal constant, all right? Didn't anyone ever teach you to respect your elders? Nope. Well, you are supposed to respect your elders. Why? I'm not sure. But if I have to do it, so do you. Yeah, well, your mama dresses you funny. But I'm an orphan. I don't have a mama. <laughs> oh, I... Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... Gotcha, Jack Face. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Offering a special sale on ponies. Again, little orphan girl. Here's your stupid pony. What do you want now? Yay! A pony! But what I want more than anything else in the whole world is... Here it comes. A daddy. I guess I could pay a drunk to be your daddy. Will you be my daddy? Well, you see, uh, well, uh... Please! Just for one day? Legally, I'm not allowed children. But what the heck? And I love you, disgusting little orphan. This is the greatest day of my entire life. Whatever. Now get in the bag.
Greetings again, delicious apple. Did you exact my revenge on those pips yet? Oh, I blowed up the village real good. Thank you. You've lifted a huge weight from my shoulders. food vendor. I'm feeling peckish. Let's see what you've got. I'm Fried Applestabber, world's greatest felt salesman. Because you haven't got felt until you got felt by Freen. I am searching for some missing orphans. Have you seen any? Nope, can't say I have. Which is really too bad. Orphans are some of my best customers. I wouldn't think there'd be much demand for felt these days. Of course there is. Felt never goes out of style. It's timeless. Why? Who have you been talking to? Nothing. I was just saying. Sure, business has been slow, but it's just a temporary downtrend. It'll improve. So, business hasn't been great. I was at the top of my game. They called me Felt's golden child. I could do no wrong. I made the biggest sale of my life. An army bought 60,000 felt tents for the troops. They were going to put my picture on a magazine. That is until... They realized you sold felt. It rained. What happened to the tents when it rained? The soldiers were trapped in yards of soggy felt and were easily hacked to pieces by the enemy. How could felt the ultimate fabric have failed me like that? It makes no sense. Now look at me. Reduced to selling felt on the street to hobos. Hobos need ultimate fabric, too. It's times like this that I wish my brother was running the company. You have a brother? I do. You may have met him already at the general store in Pluckmuckle. 
Nozzleford is my older brother. I guess Nozzleford isn't a felt affiliate like you. Well, he was all set to take over the family felt business when he was accidentally blinded in a freak felt brining incident. He doesn't like talking about it, though, so I wouldn't bring it up. I've heard that felt has a long and interesting history. You got that right, mister. Felt is easily the most fascinating of the Baroque fabrics. Felt is said to be the oldest form of fabric known to humankind, predating weaving and knitting. In fact, some historians believe that felt could predate humankind itself. The first felt is said to be the result of a sheep drowning at the point of Agmar River meets Hump Toad Bay. This was thought to be dyed in mud and used by lions as rudimentary toupees. I could listen to you drone on about felt all day. In the first tri-century, felt was considered to be a gift from the textile god Yenrab, the poet. Temples in his name were constructed entirely out of felt and scotch tape, a few of which still stand today. Ancient Submarians used to communicate by cutting out cuneiform letters and sticking them to felt backboards. Felt was the only fabric strong enough to be used in the building of the pyramids. Around this time period, felt was a common material used to create loincloths and sweater vests. What are the military applications of felt? During the Civil War, a general commissioned the use of weaponized felt in his doomsday cannon. If not for a band of vampire cowboys, his weapon would have defeated the enemy and changed history forever. Later attempts at weapons-grade felt were made during the 17th War against darkness by fabric fascists. They discovered that felt was strong enough to survive a small localized atomic blast. Using this knowledge, they built suits out of vulcanized felt that made them impervious to physical harm. Unfortunately, the extrasensory defensive nature of felt is shaky at best. They all died at the hands of an experimental psychic duck with a predilection for exploding heads. Can felt be used in the vacuum of outer space? Did you know that felt was used heavily in the space program? It's true. The International Space Station is two parts felt, one part astronaut. And one of Saturn's moons is comprised of natural formations of felt and formica, and is said to have canals. In an experiment, scientists were amazed when a pair of felt earmuffs achieved sentience. Luckily, when the earmuffs displayed misgivings about the frailty of mankind, they were incinerated instantly. The first puppet in space was not made out of felt, but instead cotton. It shrunk 47% upon re-entry. Who oh, no, knew that felt had such a fabricated history? Did you know that the Pluckmuckle Philharmonic Orchestra has a felt section? That doesn't sound right to me. Did you know that the screenplay to Citizen Kane was written in felt-tipped pen? Felt is actually the 48th element on the periodic table. I'm starting to think that you are making this up as you go. If you hold felt up to the light, you can see the silhouette of Abraham Lincoln. And that's not even discussing the quantum dimensional qualities of felt. Okay. Shut up about the damn felt already. Sorry, I just get so excited about the fantastic and proud history of felt. <sighs> Your enthusiasm is both obvious and disturbing. I like to get, uh, I mean, buy some felt. Of course you do. That's why you came to the best in the business. I've got every possible shape, size, texture, viscosity, and scent. And all for the low, low price of one dollar. So, what kind of felt would you like? I'm not in the mood for textiles right now. Can't charge you for looking. I think I'm all felt up for now. Well, if you feel like getting felt by Freed again, you know where to find me. I don't have a key to open that fine-looking treasure chest.
desk bank. Just the man I've been looking for. Could you take this package to the southeastern farmlands and deliver it to Ms. Ima Applehole? Another package? Can't you see I have more important things to do? Thanks, Death's Bank. You're a real sweetie. Citizen, you seem a bit grumpy. Can I help? A band of orcs stole the packages I was delivering. They ran off to their camp nearby. I can get your stolen packages.
Kido up in that beautiful, gorgeous, glistening treasure chest. Back for another beating, I see. Don't pretend you didn't buy that uniform at a costume shop. This time, I will not fail Lord Von Prong, and your purple thong will be his. I sure am. Gee Willikers! Citizen, I have recovered your stolen packages. Oh, my glorious packages. We could still use your help, so talk to me again when you have time. Hello, citizen. I'm still pretty scared about getting attacked by the orcs, and I have to deliver these packages to the haunted forest. Why don't you let me escort you there? Great. You lead, I'll follow.
We are safely beyond the orc camp now. Excellent. <laughs> Thanks, sucker. Let me discard this disgusting disguise now. Prepare to die! Have Gream Exterminator, here is the mating gland from the Queen Gream at Fishing Lake. Great. Now my father's discomfort has been partially avenged. I've located another Gream colony, this time in the haunted forest. Then allow me to slay the Queen and bring you her mating gland. You read my mind, Despank. Here's another whistle.
Greetings, spooky grave digger. I have a gravestone to deliver to you. Excellent. I've been waiting for this for years. Take this receipt back to you, Brick. Greetings, spooky grave digger. You look like a man that can help me. You see, my graveyard is continuously plagued by ghouls who eat the bodies I've buried. Do you think you could get rid of them for me? I've been looking for an excuse to kill some bone eaters. Then it's win-win. Please bring me their ghoul pelts when you're done. Greetings, spooky grave digger. I have your bony to ghoul pelts. Oh, you're pretty handy with a sword. These ghosts are starting to get on my nerves. 
All they do is moan and complain about being dead all the time. There's a magic blade hidden in the crypts somewhere in the haunted forest that should get rid of them. I'll fetch your magical blade, Grave Digger. I knew I could count on you. Greetings, man in the forest. Death bank. You're good at killing things so they stay dead, right? It's a matter of pride for me. Yes. Our dead keep coming back to life. The grave digger usually takes care of messy things like this. Could you go talk to him and see if he's still alive and can help me? I'll go ask your heroic sounding question. Spooky grave digger. Some guy up the road needs help with an undead problem. Wish I could help, but I've got my hands full around here. I also have to work strict union hours. I didn't know grave diggers had a union. They don't. I also do flooring and Formica countertop installation. Grave digging is just a hobby. Goodbye, grave digger. <laughs> Greetings, man in the forest. I talked to this grave digger fellow. He's alive and appears healthy, at least from the outside. But he's too busy to help. I don't know why. I wasn't really listening. Blimey! Looks like we'll have to solve this problem another way. I just had a crazy idea. If the Grave Duke can't solve this problem, maybe you can help? Does it involve making things stay dead? Why, it sure does. Grandpa keeps riling up the other skeletons. Problem is, Grandpa's been dead for years. Sounds like someone needs to be re-deaded. I'm on it. We buried Grandpa up in the sea of bones. <laughs> You'll know him when you see him.
Greetings, man in the forest. Here is your grandpa's head. Oh, that should keep him out of trouble. Thanks, Dishbank. Greetings, old man Ubrick. Here is your receipt for the gravestone. Thanks. I'll need that for my taxes. Goodbye, Ubrick.
this the end of Death Bank? Spelunker. Please, enter that horrific cave over there and retrieve a crystal sample for me. Spelunker. Do you have any crystal samples for me yet? Indeed! A haunted forest crystal. <laughs> Just what I wanted. See you at the next cave! Courier. Oh, God. Cramping. Sides. Please. I'm not going to meet my delivery deadline. Leave it to me, lazy courier. Great. I have one package for the wizard. Oh, down the lane. And another package for the farmer, Strunken McClure. I'll just wait here. Catch my breath.
Greetings, nondescript man. It is the great hero, Deathbank. Maybe you can help me. I inherited this wooden box from my dead aunt, but I cannot open it. The wood is so solid that brute force will not work. I'll handle it. I run into a lot of contrived situations like this. Then take the box and return to me when you've opened it. spot.
Greetings, Greem Exterminator. Here is the mating gland from the Queen Greem of the Haunted Forest. This will do wonders for Father's self-esteem. The next Greem colony is in the farmlands. I'm on it. Give me the next mating whistle. Go, teamwork! <laughs> Spooky grave digger, here is the magical blade. <gasps> Incredible. Now let me attach the proper hilt like so. <gasps> there, fits like a glove. Now take this soul killer sword and kill ghosts with it. Its special power will release their bones of the dead. Killing ghosts is right up my alley. <laughs> then go forth and kill that which is already dead. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't know how to use those things. I think I need to use the lever to make these gears move. I do- I think I need- Spectral thing. Despank, you are the hero we have been waiting for. Yes, I get that a lot. A hero will deliver them from evil. So it has been written. I need your help, Despank, to let the souls of this tragic town rest. And by rest, I mean destroyed. You must find the lost pieces of the town sigil to enrage the townspeople's spirits. Direct and to the point. That's my kind of funeral service. The first sigil may be found within the haunted forest in a crypt arch to the west. The second sigil may be found in a crypt arch to the south. The third sigil may be found in a crypt arch to the east. Thank you. 
sister? I sure am. Oh, boy! Spooky grave digger. Here are the bones of the dead you requested. Impressive. Thank you for all your help.
Greetings, nondescript men. I figured out your wooden box puzzle. Great. Where is box now? <laughs> Being digested inside the belly of a mighty termite. But I wanted to keep the box. It was magical, you know? It sure was. the first piece of the sigil. Then you are one-third the hero we need. Here is the second piece of the sigil. Indeed, you are powerful, Deathspank. Here's the last piece of your sigil, Dealey. You and your mighty muscles have done well. The sigil has been made whole again. Prepare yourself for the coming fight, and talk to me when you are ready. Hello again, nice ghost lady. Now that the sigil is reassembled, the spirits of the town are enraged and vulnerable. Take up your weapon, strike them down, and turn them to dust. Sure, I'm good at killing stuff. I will now cast a spell to both weaken and attract the tormented ghosts. Prepare yourself. is one. Deathspank, you have been the hero we knew would come. Go now, knowing you have helped many rest.
Greetings, Wizard of Magic. I have a courier package for you. Finally, my Eye of Newt has arrived. Greetings, Wizard of Magic. No, oh, uh, hello there. Sorry, I'm very upset right now. Then use your wizardly ways to cast a spell of happiness. Oof, I've already tried that twice this morning. But my wand just wasn't into it. You see, I was living with the Witch of the Haunted Forest, and we had a really nice mansion. Then we split up, and she kicked me out. Oh, the stinking hobby. She won't even give me my chisel recipe back. I will reclaim your chiseled recipe, sad wizard bachelor. Greetings, Wizard of Magic. I have acquired your recipe from the Witch Wizard. Great. Let's see if it's all here. Ooh, this isn't good at all. The chiseled recipe doesn't seem to work. I'm going to need my eyeball recipe too. Great. This is totally my kind of thing. It's at my old tower just east of Pluckmuckle. But you'll need this key to get in.
Have a key to open that fine looking treasure chest.
Greetings, Wizard of Magic. I have returned with your eyeball recipe. Oh, but you're going to love this. Wait, that's not right. The eyeball recipe was a bust as well. Which means the bear lope recipe must be the answer. You invented the bear lopes as well? Oh, what a crazy night that was. <laughs> I must have left the recipe in my backyard somewhere.
Greetings, Wizard of Magic. Here are the Biralope recipe pages. Just three pages? Well, I suppose I can just wing it. Hmm. Uh, well, Deathspank, it turns out that Biralopes aren't the answer either. Uh, maybe if I combine the three recipes together. I'm going to need a special ingredient for this to work. What do you require? A piece of a unicorn. Uh, they live in the Enchanted Forest. Any piece will do. Your goodness is nasty. Wizard of Magic, I have the piece of unicorn you asked for. Is that okay? Uh, a little cliche, to be honest, but I suppose that will have to do. Well, goodness alone isn't the answer. I need a piece of pure evil as well. Well, a bit of demon suffice, wizard. Oh, good idea. You're so smart sometimes. I'll need a piece from a Dark Lord demon. None other will do. Alchemist. Goodbye. <laughs> Greeting seller of edible items. I'd like to buy some of this so-called food.
Minimum wage museum guards. Oi, look, Badger! It's Death Spank! Hey, Death Spank! Have you been? Oh, it can Badger! I didn't recognize you. Why aren't you guys out there hacking and slashing with the other orcs? Oh, it's recovering from a knee injury he got during our last contract. So we've been assigned curator duty. It just goes to show, if you're trying to attempt a triple axle pirouette attack, always make sure you're equipped with the proper footwear. Oh, is Badger injured too? No, he's just lazy. What? I get to stand here all day and tell people not to touch anything. It's fun. How about we get out of here and grab some food for old time's sake? We're not allowed to leave until lunch. Which is usually at around mid-sausage. Gotcha. When do you guys get out of this dump again? We're off for lunch at mid-sausage. Oh, I hope it's Sloppy Joe Day. What's it like working for Lord Von Prong? Yeah, it's not so bad, considering we barely ever have to deal with him in person. <laughs> Still, I'm really starting to get sick of all this opera. I actually think it's kind of catchy. Start singing along to Ness and Dormer one more time and you're a dead orc. 
I take it the World of Warcraft gig didn't pan out, huh? Actually, it was great at first. You wouldn't believe the benefits plan they got over there. Yeah, everything was all fun and games till the expansion packs. Then being a level 10 didn't mean as much anymore. Just as well, I guess. I got tired of crafting my own food. So, how's your mum doing? You know, after the, uh... Ooh, uh... Yeah, she's doing okay. You know, considering... Right. It's not easy when... You know. Yeah! Well, uh... I give her my best. Seen any good movies lately? We really haven't had time. What with our long work hours and all. I did really like this one I saw last month, though. It had a mild-mannered accountant, a horde of zombies, and a giant sentient mayonnaise jar in it. I don't think I've seen that one. Eh, yeah, it's not worth it. There's an overly gratuitous cliffhanger ending, and the sequel suffer from serious continuity errors. I better get back to finishing my quests. We'll hang out later. Sute Plumere la Tete! Oi, 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 you can't touch that! Oi, 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 you can't touch that! Oi, 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 you can't touch that! Greetings, mighty ringer of the bell. Nice hourglass. Thanks. I just got it replaced. Why did you have to replace that seemingly indestructible hourglass? Uh, whenever Lord Vamprong decides to sing La Borgine de Cartouche, the damn thing shatters. Impressive. <sighs> Annoying and expensive is more like it. Why did you have to replace that fragile and expensive hourglass? Uh, whenever Lord of Impr <laughs> In That looks like fun. Can I ring your bell? No, it's not lunchtime. Oh, come on. Can I please ring your bell? No, it's not lunchtime. Just let me ring the bell once and I promise I'll stop bothering you. No, it's not lunchtime. Is there anything I can do that'll convince you to let me ring your bell? No, it's not lunchtime. Well, questing calls. I should be on my way. Excuse me, sir, but my hourglass has just shattered again. Would you happen to know what time it is? Mid sausage. <laughs> I'd better go ring the lunch bell.
Greetings, wretched man. Oh, I'm so hungry I could eat dirt. That's easy. There's dirt everywhere. Are you joking? I want freshly filtered dirt. Filtered through a spider. A bit unusual, but I'll try anything heroic once. Greetings, filthy person. Hello, kind stranger. We used to be the rich elite until Lord Von Prong's articulate dialogue tax. Now we live in this wretched village of shacks. These are hovels, I say. Hovels! We don't even have any stones to make stone soup. There are some fairly plump ones just across the tracks. I can bring you your stones. Stone soup would ease our pain, kind hero. Greetings, filthy person. I have returned with your savory stones for stone soup. Savory is the word indeed. Thank you, Death Bank. It would be nice if we could add flavor to our stone soup. Even the most basic ingredient would be helpful. Might I suggest chicken feet? Oh. A brilliant suggestion, Death Spank. Greetings, filthy person. Here are your chicken feet. Bon appetite. Oh, these are magnificent poultry appendages. Thank you, Death Bank. Hmm. You are very effective at bringing us what we need for our stone soup. You know, we used to eat turtle caviar. I guess I could go get you some turtle caviar. Very good. Chop, chop. Greetings, wretched woman. Deaf Spank. You're a hero, right? Last time I checked. Lord 
Lord von Prong's orcs drove me from me home with no time to collect me belongings. And I left me diary behind. All me deepest, most intimate thoughts are written down in it. Fear not. I'll get you your embarrassing diary. It's on the other side of the track somewhere. No peeking. Wretched woman, here is your little book of secrets. It took you long enough. I'm going to reread it right from the beginning. Spelunker. Please enter the cave over there and retrieve a crystal sample for me. Spelunker. Do you have any crystal samples for me yet? Indeed! A wretched cave crystal. <laughs> Looks good. See you at the next cave. Spelunker. Please enter the cave over there and retrieve a crystal sample for me.
Greetings, Spelunka. Do you have any crystal samples for me yet? Indeed. A saber-tooth cave crystal. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Thanks for all your help. My collection is now complete.
Greetings, Green Exterminator. Here is the mating gland from the farmland's Queen Green. Wow, you're getting good at this. Well, that's all of them. High five, my brother. Old man Ubrick, I have killed the remaining turtles. Great! I'm really knocking these old quests off. A side quest would really hit the spot right about now. Excellent! This is uh, embarrassing to admit, but I lost my hero license many years ago. I was returning from battle with a mighty ogre champion when I lost it. Would you go find it for me? I'm old! <laughs> Lost and found is empty.
Greetings, old man Ubrick. I found your hero license. Thank you, young man. I can die with full hero honors now. I feel like doing one more side quest for you. Then that's it. Excellent. When I was adventuring, my arch nemesis was an ogre champion. If I'm going to close out my quest log, I need you to kill him. There might be an achievement in it for me. Greetings, old man Ubrick. The ancient ogre champion has been slain. Great! My quest log is complete. I can die a less bitter old man now. Goodbye, Ubrick. Greetings, Wizard of Magic. I've got some smoking hot demon pieces for you. Now I can create a creature to kill off the other creatures I created. <laughs> oh, isn't it wonderful to create life to solve problems? 
Greetings, Wizard of Magic. Oh dear! Creating a two-eyed Cyclops wasn't a very good idea after all. Stand aside, Wizard. I'll slay the mutant beast. Greetings, Wizard of Magic. I have killed the Biclops, Mighty Wizard. Incredible. You've done it! Now to design the ultimate creature to clean this mess up. Seller. Goodbye. Good. Woman, I don't know. The name's Armor. Armor Applehold. What the heck do you want? That's a very strange looking pet you have. Haven't you ever seen a dog before? Not from the outside. <laughs> He's so well behaved and dependable. And he doesn't mess on the carpet either. Completely unlike that rat husband of mine. Have you noticed your dog is glowing? He's sort of radiant, isn't he? It's not fleas. Have you seen him playing near any leaky atomic bombs or used fallout shelters? Not personally, but who knows what he got up to before he fell from the sky? 
Your dog fell out of the sky? Sure did. I guess you could say it was <laughs> raining cats and dogs. <laughs> <gasps> cats fell too. Surely this is a sign of the apocalypse. Nope, just the one dog. I was trying to be funny. I find your sense of humor to be most disturbing, madam. Tell me more about this dog's descent from the heavens. Not much to say, really. He just sort of appeared and dropped. Well, he did land on Marigold, our other dog. Oh, nothing was left of her. I'm sorry for your loss. That's ah, okay. She'd been dead for years anyways. Just never got around to burying her. Did you try to find the dog's original owners? Not much to go on, really. Just his collar with SLS written on it. SLS? Strangely lemon scented? I have no idea what it means, but it don't seem like a name. I guess we may never know where it came from. It's not an it. His name is Leon. Your lemon orchard is most impressive, madam. Don't look at me, it's my husband's. I want nothing to do with it. Your husband grows a fine crop indeed. Well, he better. He loves these damn things more than me. Surely that can't be the case. He once missed my birthday because he was reading bedtime stories to the trees. But you still love your husband, right? I do, I guess. But his obsession has gotten out of control. Every year he comes in second place at the fruit growing contest at the fair. He's obsessed with beating Farmer Bobblewood. Well, that's all he cares about! Have you tried burning down the orchard? I have tried everything, I tell you. Everything! Finally, I says to him, it's either me or Farmer Bobblewood. And he picked Bobblewood? Yes. What kind of world do we live in where an ultimatum like that backfires? So this contest is the source of your marital friction? Yes. Every year it's the same old story. When you care more about manure than you do your wife, there's a problem. Well, it really depends on the manure, I think. I just saw your husband. He seems like a swell guy. Strunken? I should say not. He's an oversensitive, overbearing jerk. This one time, all I did was eat a few cookies in bed, and he just exploded in a hissy fit of rage. What did you do to take off Strunken again? All I did was eat, and he just... I have a package for I'm a Apple Hall. Thanks. I was wondering when that thing was finally going to show up. Give Sandy a hug and a kiss for me when you see her, all right? <laughs> Not gonna happen. I'll try talking to your husband, distraught woman. Hey! Hands off my orphan! Hello, Grapes of Wrath Farmer. Well, howdy, neighbor. The name's Strunken McClure. If you are a real farmer, who is your crops? Why, they're just down the road there at my farm. Then you have perfected the fine art of agricultural telecommuting. No, I'm having to fight with the missus, and I'm staying the heck away. That woman better apologize soon, or my fruits will go south. So you and your lady friend are separated? Every year it's the same old story. I plant she next. I ignore, we fight. I believe Shakespeare wrote a play about that. It's not because I like my fruit better or nothing. I just really want to win the annual fair's fruit grown contest. Is the fair contest really that important to you? Absolutely. 
Absolutely. More important than your marriage? You mean you've never heard of the farmers find the fine fruit from Fantastic Fruit All Fields? It's only the most important competition in the entire history of fruit competitions. And this year, by golly, I'm going to finally whoop Farmer Bobblewood and take first prize. Ooh. So Farmer Bubblewood wins the fruit competition each year? Yes, but it's because he cheats. Cheats, I tells you! Cherries that perfect can only be created through the dark arts. Why would someone waste powerful evil magic on cherries? Well, to win the competition, of course. That's why I gotta win. To expose his lies and get a big trophy. Woo, yeah! I have a courier package for you. Sweet! My order of chisered manure is here. Are you aware that your odor is particularly unpleasant? It's probably my amazing miracle manure that you're smelling. Oh, the miracle is that I'm still standing. It may smell something awful, but it sure done grow some amazing produce. Is that manure in your hair? Sure is. My amazing manure also stops hair loss. But you don't show any signs of male pattern baldness. Exactly. Putting manure on my head has given me back my dignity. Is hard work really its own reward? Yes, indeedy. Ain't nothing make a man feel more manly. I'm rather partial to full contact knitting. I work hard, sleep well, and grow the best produce in the world. Although Lord Von Prong and his taxes have made things tough recently. What can you tell me about Lord Von Prong? Well, he used to be a real stand-up fella. Played a mean fiddle, too. But now he's battier than a chiroptologist convention. I heard he drains the life force from vegetables using his mind. He's a vegetarian? The only thing I know is that something stinks. And I know a thing or two about stink. I see you have an orphan. He's mine. I found him fair and square. Why, he's the only friend I don't have left. Ever since the missus decided she ain't want nothing to do with me. You seem like a good guy. Why would your wife leave you? I'm a... Oh, she's nuttier than a peanut farm. She'll holler at me over the darndest things. Like this one time, all I did was tell her she had a mustache. And she just went all hysterical-like and hit me with a shovel. I talked to your wife, what's-her-face. She says you're oversensitive. Well, she's the one to talk, ain't she? See you around, Strunken McClure. Again, I'm a... I talked to your husband, what's his face? He says he's sorry. But telling you, you had a mustache. Well, that's real sweet of him. Might I suggest a reconciliation? Not until he also apologizes for that time that he... Ah, it's hopeless. He'll never do it. I'll try talking to your husband, distraught woman. Hello, Grapes of Wrath, Farmer. I talked to your wife, what's-her-face. 
She says she's sorry for eating cookies in bed. Is that so? Well, it's a start. But she ain't done apologizing. Not until she also apologizes for... Oh, what's the use? Our marriage can't be saved. Did you do anything else to tick off Ima by any chance? Well, now that you mention it, well, I sort of picked someone else's nose in public once. That's all I can think of for now. See you around, Strunken McClure. Greetings again, Ima. Strunken says he's sorry again. We're picking someone else's nose in public. Why, if he'll admit to that, he must really mean it. I've been too hard on the big oaf. Perhaps it's not too late to save your marriage. Maybe. Maybe it'll be different this time. Did you do anything else to tick off Strunken by any chance? Oh, nothing, really. I ate the last slice of pizza without asking. Why would anyone get so upset over nothing? I'll try talking to your husband, distraught woman. Hello, Grapes of Wrath Farmer. Ima says she's sorry again. For eating the last slice of pizza. Oh, did she now? Well, <laughs> maybe there's still hope for us after all. Oh, but she probably wants nothing to do with me. Ima says she really wants you back. She says she can't live another moment without you. She really said that? I wouldn't lie to you unless it was funny. Well, hooey! I'd better get over there. Are you here to rescue me, mister? I sure am. Hi, Deathspank. What's wrong now? It's the farmers finding fine fruit from fantastic fertile fields. I just can't lose again this year to that cheating bobblewood. I know what I need to make my crops grow, but it's just not going to be pretty. Unicorn poop. I must admit, I am intrigued. You'll need to add this special relish to their vittles. Otherwise, you'll be waiting a spell or two. You see, unicorns only poop two or three times their whole life. But the dangest thing is, they mate several times a day. Looks like a unicorn has been nibbling on this turnip.
I've got your unicorn poop. Ooh, yes. This is the perfect scent. And, well, it just smells great. Why, thank you, Dead Spank. Bobblewood's days as champion farmer are now numbered. Hoo-wee! Man off the beaten path. Those damn dorks of on prong stole my pet, Blinky. Blinky wouldn't happen to be a blinker. Aye, the orcs are doing something odd with blinkers in that camp of theirs. I'll go get Blinky back for you. Because that's undowntroddening if I ever heard it. <laughs>
Hello, man off the beaten path. I have good news and bad news about Blinky. Uh, but mostly bad news. Unfortunately, uh, Blinky tried to bite me, and then this thing happened with my sword, and... Uh, but now isn't the time for blame. It's a time to come together and remember Blinky and the joy he brought us all. Uh, here are his tags. Oh, oh! Greetings, filthy person. I have your turtle caviar, shockingly poor person. Well, this isn't quite as good as I'm accustomed to, but it will do. Thank you for trying, Deathbank. You know, Deathbank, I think it's time we tasted the forbidden meat the upper elite have only heard tales of. Live saber-toothed donkey. Sure, I'll bring you a living saber-toothed donkey. Then be gone and return with the forbidden meat known as Long Ass. Greetings, wretched man. I have quote unquote dirt for you. <laughs> this is superb. You can really taste the spider. bring to you the terrifying saber-toothed donkey. Well, it's about time, heroic peon. Now, get out of my way, fool, so I can devour this creature.
Again, Mayor of Pluckmuckle, I bring to you a payload of trash, Mayor. Oh, good work, Death Bank. My re-election is a sure thing now.
Lower the drawbridge or prepare to be justice dead. Are you here with the rest of the orphans for Lord Von Prong? Why, yes, I have them right here. Did you bring all six remaining orphans this time? Lord Von Prong was not pleased with yesterday's shipment, to put it mildly anyway. Yep, I got all six right here in this bag. Did you poke holes in it? The bag or the orphans? Either one is fine. Proceed! Hey! You're that death spell! should talk to you, Brick, about how to get in. Are you here to rescue me, mister? I sure am. Gee Whitakers! Rescue me, mister. I sure am. Gee Whitakers! Muckle, my orphan bag runneth over with orphans. A mighty fine job, Mr. Spank! Now the community theater won't have to cancel the vagina monologues after all. With the orphans returned, the mayor's re-election was ensured. He even got the key to the city. 
for some reason. The inaugural celebration became a cavalcade of heroic photo opportunities. Not to mention minor pyrotechnics. I was a dispenser of justice, a vanquisher of evil, and a hero to the downtrodden. But one important bit of business remained. So, uh, <clears throat> about my reward. Oh, uh, right. Well, you see, uh, here's the thing. The town's a little short on funds at the moment, so I'm going to have to give you an IOU. Greetings, old man Ubrick. Tell me how to open Lord Von Prong's gate and defeat him. Are all the orphans safe? You betcha! Yeah, well, it's about time. Now listen, the only way to defeat that backstabbing orphan thief is to kill him. And I have just the thing. Its mere presence will open the gate to his courtyard as well. Uh, on second thought, no. It may be too dangerous. I can't let you go through with it. Then Von Prong can be defeated with an extraordinary weapon? There are rumors. Rumors of what? A sword. But not just any sword. A sword so legendary that its very name strikes fear into the hearts of the Akmophobic. The Pronganator 3000. Why, that's one better than the Pronginator 2,999. Do not mock the Pronginator 3,000, for it is the Pronginator 3,000 that mocks you. Just tell me where I can find this legendary sword already. I haven't made it yet, but I can make it. I just need the right materials. If this Pronginator 3,000 can defeat Von Prong, I'll get those materials. If the Pronginator 3000 can't do it, it can't be done. Except for knitting. The Pronginator 3000 must never be used for knitting. Okay, here's what I need. Some demonic ore. A piece of plain green 6x6 six six felt. A lock of Lord Von Prong's hair. And once you bring these materials to me, the legend begins. Oh, and here's something to help you collect the demonic ore. So don't say I never did anything nice to help you out. <laughs> Goodbye, you brick.
<laughs> Back to partaking the bounties of felt, I see. I'd like to get... Uh, I mean, buy some felt. Of course you do. So, what kind of felt would you like? A plain green 6x6 six six sheet of felt will do. What? That's it? You sure you don't want to buy a more durable texture, complete with a three-year warranty? It costs virtually nothing extra, you know. No, no. Just the basics will do. Remember, this is felt we're talking about. You wouldn't settle for a plain woman, so why settle for plain fabric? So, some magenta to go with that thong of yours, perhaps? I prefer the plain green, thank you. Why settle for 6x6 six six when you can get 12x12 12 12 for the same price? And today only, we've got a sale on 64x64! 64 64. Prices this low should be illegal! In this case, less is definitely more. You are a man who knows what he wants, and I respect that. But at least let me cut in a trendy zigzag pattern. Your girl will thank you. I told you, I want a plain green 6x6 six six sheet of felt. You are a shrewd negotiator. I can tell when I'm beat. One plain green piece of 12x12 12 12 felt. I said 6x6. Six six. Hmm. Right. One plain green piece of 6x6 six six felt coming right up. I must go now that I've gotten felt. Be sure to tell your friends you got felt by Freen.
Greetings, old man Ubrick. I have some of the crap you asked for. Here is the demonic ore. Here is this six by six piece of felt. Here is some of Lord Von Prong's greasy hair. Perfect. Now just wait here. It looked bigger in the cutscene. Eh, what are you gonna do about it? Oh, by the way, you may want to take care of any loose ends before fighting Lord Von Prong. There's no guarantee that things will end the way you want. Prong, I presume. My, my. Look what the orphans dragged in. Yeah, destruction is what they dragged in. <laughs> you live up to your reputation, Death Bank. Why did you kidnap the orphans? To bring you to me, of course. It's a trap. You predictable buffoon! Oh, I knew you'd be unable to resist rescuing poor defenseless orphans. Why didn't you take all the orphans? Well, we tried, but... but oh, what do you care anyway? Just making conversation. Listen, DS, I didn't really go through all this trouble to talk about orphans. So, the weather's been nice recently, hasn't it? Yes, quite. The whole week, really, it's been... Oh, I get it. You're trying to keep me talking. Maybe if I talk long enough, I'll reveal my fatal weakness. Hmm? Is that it? Oh, you have a fatal weakness? Oh, yes, well, well it's more like an allergy, really. Hey, knock it off! How do you know my name? 
Earl. I know everything about you. I know you like long walks on the beach. I know you giggle every time you hear the word discombobulator. <laughs> and I know that you still think that girls give you cooties. <laughs> that could describe anyone. I also know that the thong you are wearing isn't just for show. Flattering though it may be. <laughs> Do you subscribe to my fan club newsletter? I want that thong, Death Spank. I need it! You can have my thong when you pry it from my cold, dead bottom. Naturally. It can't be removed any other way. I've gone to a lot of trouble to bring you here. Now be a good little death spank and die quickly for me! Why do you want my thong? To become more powerful, you moron! Hey, now! My influence would be without limit. I would be one of the gods! My word, law! My rule, absolute! Only then shall I rule the entire world! <laughs> Could you be any more of a cliché? Takes one to know one. Touché. Prepare yourself for defeat at the hands of justice. <laughs> oh, this will probably be the easiest fight I've had since humiliating you brick years ago. <laughs>
this the end? Once a less talking, more fighting, please.
as the tyrant Lord Von Prawn lay at Death's Bank's feet, the mysterious, although quite attractive, red-haired woman shows up, just as she has for most of Death's Bank's long journey in search of the artifact. You've done more than defeat a local tyrant, Death's Bank. Then she did the most peculiar thing. She reached down to Lord Von Prawn's dead body, parted his aristocratic overcoat, and revealed a thong. Not unlike the purple thong our hero has worn for all his remembered life. The thong that has given him the power to be who he is. A dispenser of justice, a vanquisher of evil, and a hero to the downtrodden. Ha ha ha! I did it, Sandy! After all these years, we finally have the artifact! The, the artifact is not important, Espank. You see, we have a much bigger problem to deal with. It may not seem like it now, but you've done a great thing in defeating Lord Von Prong. The power of his thong had corrupted him into the evil, twisted, disgusting, pathetic, wretched... Right, I get it. Shriveled, grotesque, rotting... I think someone has some issues to work through. Horrid, barbaric... Don't forget opera loving. ...thing you see laying before you. But we are not done yet. You see, the other thongs are still out there, corrupting those who wear them. And you are the only force that can defeat them. I am very close to writing a mistake made many years ago. Get your affairs in order and meet me on the other side of that gate. But hurry, we don't have much time left and you may be shocked by what you find. Ah! Shocked by what you find is my middle name. The fate of the rest of the world depends on the dispenser of justice, the vanquisher of evil, and the hero to the downtrodden. you're here! But that's a story for another time. I've grown tired and must rest. These are the true heroes. 